All right, what's up, guys? This is uh, Kyle Nine Six Five doing a part two um, of my top ten best wrestlers of today, this generation. Hold on one sec. Had to get a little swig of water there. Um, but yeah, so this is part two, guys, of, uh, of who I think are the top ten best wrestlers of today. Um, so yeah, so you guys have been, so if you guys are watching this first, this is part two of my video. Please watch the first one. Um, so picking off from the first video, um, Kurt Angle was number six. Um, I talked about him in my first video, so picking up from that. Number five is CM Punk. Um, you know, I made a kind of like a tribute video where I talked about CM Punk. If you guys can, if you guys look at that, um, I talked about how CM Punk. Um, how I've always thought CM Punk was a great talent. Um, Punk is one of the uh, one of the wrestlers where I've truly like been a loyal fan since like way before anyone else saw him coming down the pipeline. Um, you know, I follow Punk through PWG, Pro Wrestling Gorilla, to ROH, which is Ring of Honor, and, uh, you know, currently up here to WWE. Um, Punk is, I think, is a great talent. I think he's a great wrestler. Uh, one of the best um, wrestlers I think WWE has um, today, right now. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a phenomenal talker. And, uh, you know, for a lot of people who who are now saying Punk is a great talker or he's great on the mic because of that promo that he cut on Raw last last month, they didn't catch me by surprise because Punk used to cut promos like that all the time in Ring of Honor. So when Punk cut the type of promo that he cut on Monday Night Raw last month, it didn't catch me by surprise at all. The one thing that did, that, that did catch me by surprise was that I was surprised that WWE would allow him to cut a promo um, with that type of... Uh, uh, you know, edginess to it, you know, um, I was proud of that, um, although I know, I know the whole thing is a, is a work, it wasn't a shoot, it was actual work, but, you know, I didn't, I don't care, it was entertaining, I enjoyed it, but I was just surprised that WWE would allow Punk to, like I said, do a promo with that much edginess to it, and, you know, real life kind of feel, um, like I said, besides that, you know, I think it's a great in-ring talent. Number four on my list is Austin Aries, and like Punk, um, you know, Austin Aries is one of those guys, he's just as good on the mic as he is in the ring. Um, you know, Austin Aries is a great talent. Austin Aries can be, you know, can go from being, you know, a high flyer to, uh, you know, being a sound technical type wrestler. Um, Austin Aries is just a great guy. Um, you know, I love his character. I love his cockiness. Uh, he just has this, this really, you know, just this... I'm the best of today, you know, I'm the best wrestler of today type of, like, cockiness and attitude that I just really like, and I really like his character a lot. Um, you know, he's had a lot of great matches in Ring of Honor. Glad to see him in TNA. Hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll push him right and do something good with him. Um, and like I said, he's also a good talker. Um, you know, I think Austin Aries, you know, he's one of those guys, I think, that can talk you in the building. I do think that. I think he's that good. Um, so Austin Aries is number four on my list. Number three will be Daniel Bryan, who you guys know in WWE as Daniel Bryan Danielson. He's won the Money in the Bank, um, SmackDown, Money in the Bank ladder match. Um, Daniel Bryan is another guy who I think um, is one of WWE's best wrestlers of today that they have. And Daniel Bryan is a guy, you know, he's not the biggest or bold. He's not the biggest, uh, you know, physically he's not the biggest guy like John Cena or Randy Orton. But I bet, I bet you... Hands down, Daniel Bryan can out wrestle those guys any day. Hands down, you know he's not the biggest guy in the world. But like I said, he's a great submission wrestler, great talent. Um, he's another guy called the Ring of Honor wrestling. I mean, just Daniel Bryan is a star. He really is. Um, you know, he's one of those guys. You know, I didn't, I never would have thought that WWE would have pushed. Who I think should get a push, but I never thought WWE would get a push. But you know, since I won the Money in the Bank. Looks like they're finally giving it to him, and I think he's well deserving of it because he's a great talent, and he's one of the few guys in WWE that I think that can he can he can really give you get you emotionally invested into him and into his character. Um, that's just how good I think Dan Bryan is. Um, I think Dan, I, like I said, he, he's really a unique guy, and uh, he's one of the he's one of the few guys um, in WWE for me at least where I can get emotionally invested into him. Um, I was, I mean, he got me emotionally invested into him when he was in Ring of Honor, but 
Um, you know, I'm just speaking for WWE WWE wise. He's one of those guys that can do that. Um, number two on my list is uh, AJ Styles, and you know, just like you know what they call him, phenomenal or the phenomenal one, he truly is phenomenal. You know, I don't care, you know, how many world title belts TNA puts on Sting or how much camera time Hulk Hogan and Bischoff get. AJ Styles is the one and only and true face of TNA. He really is. Um, AJ Styles, along with, you know, some of the other guys like Joe or, or you know, Beer Money, you know, he, he really, you know, he, he laid the foundation for TNA, you know. Um, like I said, there were a lot of other guys along with, with, with AJ Styles who helped build TNA and laid that foundation, but AJ Styles was, was really the, the forerunner of that group, you know, who laid the foundation. Um, AJ Styles is just a great wrestler. Um, AJ Styles, I think, is like, uh, you know, he's like a bottle of wine. The older he gets, the better he becomes. He really does. Um, you know, he was always a, a phenomenal wrestler, even in Ring of Honor wrestling. But if you look at a lot of his matches from Ring of Honor, you know, to his early years of TNA, all the way till now, um, he just, like I said, he gets, he's gotten better. He just gets better and better. I mean, there's nothing he really <laughs> cannot do. You know, um, great high flyer, from a great high flyer to a good sound wrestler. Um, AJ Styles is really the best. I mean, you know, he's another guy who's not the best talker in the world, but you really don't care because he's one hell of a wrestler. I mean, he's just that darn good. Um, so, AJ Styles is number two on my list. And finally, last but not least, number one on my list is the top ten best wrestler of the day. Number one, Davey Richards. Um, Davey Richards, um, you know, this is another pick some of you guys may may agree with, may not. But, you know, like I said, this is my top ten pick. Davey Richards is another guy who I think uh, is absolutely, um, you know, phenomenal, tremendous talent. Um, I think he has a good look. Um, I think he can talk. Um, uh, he's another guy like Daniel Bryan who I think who can get you emotionally invested into his character and into him and, you know, into his stories or whatever it is that he's involved in. Um, you know, he, he's just, I mean, I can't even explain how good Davey Richards is to me. Um, you know, a lot of us Davey Richards fans, um, we compare him to Chris Benoit. And not saying that Davey Richards, his, his, his skill levels are on par or on the same level of Chris Benoit. But the type of technicality that Davey Richards uses in his in-ring ability, you know, his, his technical style, it just it reminds you of Chris Benoit. It's similar to Chris Benoit. It's not exactly like Chris Benoit because they're two totally different people, two totally different wrestlers, but his style and his in-ring ability and his technical wrestling skills are similar to that of Chris Benoit. You know, we always, you know, we, like I said, us Davey Richards fans, we call him the next Chris Benoit. Uh, he's just a great, tremendous talent. Um... I was excited, you know, when he won the um, ROH World Title at Best in the World Pay Per View last month. Um, you know, I think he truly deserved it, truly earned it. Um, you know, like I said, David Richards is phenomenal talent. So um, yeah, so this is um, my top ten um, best wrestlers. My top, ten, who I think are the top ten best wrestlers of today. Um, like I said, this is part two of my video. So if you guys are watching this first, please watch the first video because this is part two. Um, yeah, so this is my list. Let me know what you guys think. If you like my top ten pick, if you didn't like them, and let me know, um, if you want, let me know what are your, um, top ten pick of best wrestlers of today. You can leave them in the comment. You can send me a message. doesn't matter. 